As we get things rolling out here this morning, not too bad across our neck of the woods, so the sun is now out, and the wind's starting to pick up a bit as well. We can see the flag is now moving across parts of downtown Rhinelander, so that means we're starting to see things kind of getting a little bit more stirred up with the sun now coming out. Air quality is good in our neck of the woods, finally right. Looking pretty good across Wausau and Madison as well. Still not good in the southeastern parts of the state. We're going to be working on that today, though, as all the smoke continues to get out of the state. Otherwise, though, moving before though there might still be a little bit of smoke in some parts of the atmosphere but nothing to the point of what we've been dealing with recently so get outside and enjoy it finally the air will be healthy enough to breathe outside without without much precaution but for now though look at this looking pretty good out there we just have some fog developing near land of lakes and mantuish waters so visibility levels reduced but improving as the sun is now out it's burning that fog away and of course no clouds overhead either to block out the sun so that means we're looking pretty good in that regard too we had a few showers and storms last night early this morning Morning in a few spots, but now those are all off in parts of the UP. And there's more showers and storms further down toward the south. Right about in here, though, this, uh, this storm, this line of storms here, looks like it's starting to turn severe again. There's a warning out on it now. That is a severe thunderstorm warning over in parts of Iowa this morning there. But for now, though, drought is kind of an issue across a good part of the Midwest with a lot of areas now in severe drought. And of course, we could use some rain. We're in moderate drought on neck of the woods, though, but further down to the south, moderate and severe drought is being observed. There is some rain to forecast, but we have to wait until next week for any more of the meaningful chances for precipitation. So moving forward for today, the fog gets out of here. We'll see a lot of sunshine this afternoon with a few passing clouds. Later on tonight, we have some clouds, maybe some fog as well in a few spots. But then by tomorrow, though, I mean, look at this. We do have to watch for maybe a few raindrops or maybe a rogue shower through Saturday afternoon and a few clouds as well. But overall, get outside and enjoy it. Saturday looks to be a good day as well. And then by Sunday morning, a few passing clouds, and that's about it there. Temperatures starting off in the 50s and 60s this morning. So overall, not too bad in the temperature department. We're going to work on this. So our average high is 79 degrees. We'll reach for the lower 80s today. And a few other times we'll move towards uh, the warmer temperatures as well. Upper 80s by Monday into Tuesday. Then cooling off again as we get towards your Thursday back in the middle 70s. UV next forecast for today will be at an 8. That's considered very high. Burn time of simply 15 minutes. So hats, sunglasses, sunscreen, shade will be necessary to avoid a bad sunburn. Your forecast for today, part of cloudy with highs in the lower 80s. And that west wind getting up to about 5 to 10 miles per hour. By tonight, mostly cloudy, maybe less clouds in some spots, some areas of dense fog as well. Lows in the lower 60s and at West Breeze getting up to about 5 miles per hour. Northwoods Furniture and Mattress, 7-day forecast already. There's a slight chance for a rogue shower on Saturday. Otherwise, most of us are staying dry. Then Saturday, then Sunday into Monday, we're looking pretty good. Temperatures in the 80s. Then storm chances do return Tuesday into Wednesday. By Thursday, not too bad either. Looking pretty dry, but temperatures overall in the 80s the next several days. And then we start to cool things off again as we head towards your Thursday.